So, you want to format your research paper in Microsoft Word? If your instructor has said that your assignment needs to be formatted as an APA style paper or an MLA style paper, they mean more than just your list of sources. Both of these styles have requirements for the paper as a whole. This video will show you how to double space the text, how to create a header listing the page number, and how to correctly indent your list of sources. Please note, this video is not going to get into the details specific to each style type. We'll just be showing you how to adjust some of these settings in Word. Please be sure to consult your style manual or your assignment to be sure that you're meeting the format requirements, or check with NU Library or the Writing Center if you still have questions. Both MLA and APA papers need to be double-spaced without extra space between paragraphs. Start by highlighting all of the text, or you can automatically select all the text with a keyboard shortcut. On a Windows computer, it's Control and the letter A, and on a Mac, it's Command and the letter A. If you are not already in the Home tab, click that. Then go to the Paragraph section and click the arrow in the bottom right corner. Under Line Spacing, select Double. We also want to eliminate extra space between paragraphs, so make sure that the spacing before and after paragraphs is set to zero. Then click OK. Both APA and MLA papers require a header that lists the page number in the right-hand corner. The header is the area of the page that is above the main body, and the footer is below the main body. To edit the header, just double-click this space, and now Word should be showing you the header and footer tools. If you somehow ended up in a different tab, just click on Header and Footer Tools and you should see the correct menu options. Click Page Number, and then Top of Page. A plain number is fine for this, and according to MLA and APA requirements, it should be on the right, so click this one. You can then click Close Header and Footer. Now if you scroll through the document, you'll see that each one has the page number listed automatically. What if you want the first page to have a different header than the rest? You may want this depending on the style of your paper or the guidelines from your instructor. So double click on the header again. Under Options, click on Different First Page. Now you'll see that the rest of the document still has the page numbers, but the header on this first page is blank, so you can design this one separately and it won't affect the others. Your list of sources should have a hanging indent. This is the opposite of how you might normally see a paragraph indented. For a hanging indent, the first line starts at the left, and every line after it is indented. The sources should have a hanging indent of half an inch, whether it's an APA references list or an MLA works cited list. To do this, we'll highlight all the references. If you're not already in the Home tab, click that then go to the Paragraph section and click the arrow in the bottom right corner. Look at the section in the middle called Indentation. Under Special, change the drop-down menu from None to Hanging. Under By, that refers to the size of the indentation. It should be half an inch, so since it already says 0.5 inches, that's correct and I can leave it as it is. Then click OK. Now if you make any changes to your sources, even if you add or take away some of the text, the hanging indent is still preserved. Now you know some ways to format your paper for APA or MLA style. If you still have questions, feel free to contact NU Library for assistance.